Let's see, what do we want to do now? So we should prepare a lot of turrets. We have the turrets. We need to prepare the ammo um, so we can get a an area secure for my oil production. Um, I was earlier I was thinking of doing this and this, but it's it's only two oil um, each, and they're although they're close. I'd have to set up a whole oil production, and that would just take some time, or that would take a lot of space for not a lot of product. Whereas if I set up here, I have a ton of oil to work with, and um, I think the space would be more better utilized. Problem is going to be I need to. Uh, I'm going to need to clear these out. And then figure out how I'm going to congregate all the oil together. Because I don't think I want to make three separate or two separate um, oil refinery areas like here and then here. I kind of want to just put them all together, have a ton of oil facilities in one spot and then use that. Um, I do have pretty much everything here that I need for a base. If I so desired. But that's also something to keep track of. Um, I don't think we're... This is a rich resource map, so I'm not going to ever really run out of iron for at least another tens of hours. Copper, though, is my concern because I'm, I have an, I've saturated this area with miners. Um, I have more copper than I'll ever need for now. Um, and I'm technically not mining anything right now because, you know, this is pretty stagnant, but it is worth worrying about later or thinking about later. Getting attacked from here, space over here. We cl cleared out those bases, so they're just getting attacks from there, so that's fine. So let's go check on ammo and all that such, all those things. Make sure our walls are filled in and get ready for um, our oil. So let's get everything that we need to be to make that. So we're gonna need a lot of pump jacks. I'll make. can actually check. So 6, 7, 10, 13, 14, uh, 19, 22. So I need 22 of them. I have 8 here, 13. So let's make uh, 18, 20, and then two more. I need steel. I need like I need gear wheels and circuits. I have those already made, so I'm gonna just grab those. Okay, how many do I have? I have ten. So twenty two. Alrighty, um, what else am I going to need? I'm going to need pipes. I have some pipes, I don't have enough, I think. I'm going to need a lot for underground pipes mainly. Because each underground pipe needs 10. 10 pipes? Wow, that's a lot. Is this what it was before? Is this the same recipe? I, I wasn't aware that they were so expensive. 
I knew they used a lot of pipes, but I didn't know they used five plates for it. For it. But I guess I never paid attention because I always make it by hand. So I just click on it and then it automatically takes it from me. I don't have to really think about it. Um, so we're making tons and tons of pipes. What else do we need? We need electricity. We have some. Go grab some copper. We're gonna need yeah, 10 fuel tanks, storage tanks. I think that's okay for now. I can always just make more there. Actually, no, I'm gonna queue it up now because I'm in my base with all my supplies, so there's no reason not to. What else? I need some pumps, then I need engine units. For engine units, I need that stuff. I should get this started on automation, so let's do that. We'll make an area for pipes and engines. So this is a lot of, this has all my gear wheels. I'm going to make some, some more uh, wheel production right here, just for my engines, I guess, and for anything else I might need it. I think that would be the best idea here. Let me think about it a little bit more. I do still have all this area here in production. I do plan on increasing my circuit production later once I start using more and more of those. So that's probably going to be here. And then advanced production down here. Um, to the left, I don't know. More stuff. So do, I don't think I want to add my engine stuff here. Shoot. Uh, let's see. Make some of these. I'll just make it here for now. Um, I can always just change it later. I'm gonna spend more time thinking about it and then not doing it. Might as well just do it now and then change it later. So I need these, I need iron wheels. That's why I took them out. We'll do four. And then, what else did I need? Steel plates and pipes. I think I need to reverse this. I'm not using all fast because I don't have them made, so, <laughs> and I already have all that queued, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, so we'll get those down. Um, and then we need pipes. We'll use these for the pipes.
I don't know if it's worth using fast inserters here because uh, I don't know how fast production makes it, but that's fine. It's probably better to have fast here and then output better. Output slow. But this is pretty much instant, so whatever. And I should have fast in all of them. Okay. So we have that. What else do we need for engines? We need steel plates. I'll just add these two together. Steel plates are here. I'm going to route them up through the metal here. Splitter. We need to start using red belts. We have them, so why not use them? I'll keep a gap there just for just in case. And then let's move this up. Okay, and then we'll bring it up through here as well. Ready. Cool. So now we have our steel and we'll have our engine production. How do I want to make this? I want to make it... What What is going to need engines later in the future? Um, robots and I think. Maybe? I don't, I don't actually know. And... Basically, I'm just going to be making these, I guess. So... I think that's good. It'll be here, because I can output them to the train that I'll probably be making here. So that's... this is fine. I'll just put it right here. stuff. So let's make fast inserters. So much for queuing up a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay, I also need long-handed inserters. I don't have any. Go pick up some inserters over here. Let's fill in this wall that we forgot about, as promised. And I need more iron. Go get some wheels. Let's go pick up some circuits. Already. Make a couple of those and then should be good there. We aren't researching anything. Why are we not researching anything? Do modules. Alrighty, we have our engines being made for the future.
up a little bit and then we'll input it into a chest. I forgot why I was making these to begin with. Oh, we, we wanted those for the accumulators later. Okay, that's good. No, wait. I don't I don't remember why we were making them. I just know that we need to need to automate it anyways. Do we need them for something now? Pumps. We need them for the pumps. I gotcha. Okay, I remember. Make some pumps. Alright. I think we're good to go. Let's start making more undergrounds. And then... We'll fill the rest up with... Something. Something. What do we want to... I guess we can't go wrong with more solar panels, so we'll just make more solar panels. Uh, we need steel plates, copper plates, and circuits. We're gonna grab a lot of circuits. We always need circuits, so can't go wrong there. Let's dump all the stuff that we aren't ever going to use like that. Um, we don't need wooden chests. Don't need the blueprint, but I'll keep it anyways. Let's see, don't need the wood. Grenades are helpful. That's all fine. Okay, what do we want? Want that for power armor later. I have a logistics three here. What else? No, I want, let's do robotics. Okay. So we need copper plates, steel plates, and circuits. We have the circuits, we have the Copper. Pick up our steel. Get more circuits. should hold us over for a while. And okay, next we want... Uh... My grenades we have? We have 96, that's fine. I haven't been storing walls, that is a problem. Should have been doing that. Um... For my needs. It's fine. Do we have ammo? I'm just gonna take all of it. So I can put place down the turrets. Okay. We're good to go. Let's head out. First thing we want to do is secure the northeast northeast area um, right here. We're gonna start on that side there. 
just get all that uh, set up. What is this? Okay. Still small worms, so we're still still with the small fry. We're gonna save. And I think I can just kill them. Although the trees might be a problem. Yikes. A lot of a lot of goop. Make sure I'm using the right gun. Okay, I'm just I'll play it safe. I'm gonna wait for my HP to regen a little bit. After I kill this base, I'm gonna go down here, and then after that I'll set up some turrets, and then we'll tackle this base. I th you know, I think there was some research for a pickaxe <laughs> earlier. I saw it. And I remember that uh, those were gone, but why was it in the research? Need to see if that's something I made up or not. <laughs> Robotics are finished. Okay, all of this is green sign, so that's pretty good. We're not. We're not too. Annoyed that we don't have oil yet, because we still have a lot of things that we can research. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't know what I saw, but I know that there was something with the pickaxe. And I'm like, I thought they got rid of those, but maybe I was dreaming. Okay, so let's save again. This is a pretty weak base, so throw some nades. Okay. An island? <laughs> no, can't be. That that is a lot of oil. Uh, that's almost too much oil. <laughs> might be something I might want to consider getting later. I can make uh, some landfills to get across the water. But it does have a lot of enemies there. But geez, look at all look at that. 12k. All right, so we're going to set up here. There are quite a few worms, so I'm going to be safe than sorry. Enough. All right. Wait, save. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> I aggroed both bases. Um I guess that's fine. We're gonna have to wait on our HP a little bit here, but slow and steady wins the race, right? So in the meantime, while we're waiting on this, we should be thinking about what we want to do with our oil. Um, 
Because we have these three spots here. Do we want to put them together in one spot? Do we want to make two spots? Yikes, this is... There's a lot. I'm using up a lot of grenades here. Oh, thanks. Okay, so I'll wait again. I didn't actually do any damage on the bases, I think. That's not good. So what I think I want to do is I want to bring all these together. I'll probably put my oil refineries right here. I'll have like four or like ten of them across here. And then I'll just put everything down here. And the coal will be good and that'll, that'll help me with my plastic and sulfur or whatever needs the coal, I forgot. Okay, we got those two bases down, so that's good. Okay, so in the meantime, while I'm getting for my HP, let's put these down. So I don't know what they did with fluid mechanics. I, I'm not aware of how they changed anything in this patch actually um i did briefly skim over some of the changes but i didn't look at anything in depth or anything like that so uh i don't know if they changed fluid or not and either way i still don't really know how the dynamics work in this game seems kind of wonky um, shoot. So I'm not better, I, I don't know if it's better to congregate all of them into one giant oil area and then pump them out somewhere, or should I just not use, or should I bring them all together in a one area, put all the tanks in that one area, and then pump them out directly to the oil refineries. Is that better? Or would it be better to store them up here and then bring them to somewhere, bring them to the oil refineries? I don't know if that, if that matters really. These are the rest of my needs. So I need to be aware of that. Okay, I'm going to probably waste a couple. <laughs> okay, those, those worms are my main enemies. So these guys I can get rid of with the nades. Um, I'm going to run back to my base and get some more nades. Um... So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have two storage areas. I'm going to have a storage area next to the oil mining area. And then from there, I'm going to pump out from that storage area to another storage area next to the oil refineries. And I hope that'll work fine. It is actually quite a long way to my base. <laughs> okay, we're still good on things that are being made. That's fine. Still not saturated on our stone stuff, but that wasn't really going to change, I guess. Okay, what do we want? We want... we have ammo. 
We want grenades. That's good. Is there anything I could be making? No, that's fine. How many pumps do we have? We have 10 pumps. Let us make more. Let us do science. Research. Okay, I must have a lot of military up now. So let's see what we can do with the military. This would be good. It's all blue science. I don't have those. Rocket fuel. Well, I don't know. So I guess I'll just continue with railroads because it looks like I am going to be using those eventually. I haven't really been noticing how often we've been getting attacked, but it doesn't seem like it's as much as before. So that's the reason why we went out and killed everything. So we have our... That's interesting. I didn't, I didn't notice that until right now. That this actually congregates all of the all of the things that you have together into one. Yeah, it takes each stack, but um, it'll replenish once it's gone. So that's that's pretty cool. I like that. Now oh, I should have been routing on the Crystal City over here. Oops. Oh well. Okay, we're finally back. So we're going to uh, continue what we were doing. We got rid of this base. This seems fairly doable. Um, the main issue... They look kind of stuck, even. So the main issue here is the worms. And they're all together. But they're on the back side, so I'm not going to attack those. I'm just going to throw my nades right here and get rid of four of the... Things. I probably should move up my... Oh, yeah, this is... Probably should move up my defenses, but... I have enough solar panels to put down a few. That is a very good point. Did not think about that. Thank you for... You're not minding me. Okay, uh... Shoot. <laughs> the goop! It's the goop! Okay, so while we're... Oh, it's already gone. I was going to say, while we're waiting, then we can uh, set that up. So I don't need circuits. I don't really use these for anything. Yet, as far as I know. This is cheap, so we'll do it. We'll just get rid of all the things down here. Why not? Okay, so in terms of what I'm where I'm gonna put all the oil stuff, it's gonna be right right here. I'm gonna route everything this this way. Uh, this is gonna be I'm gonna use underground pipes to bring them all from here to over here. I think I'm not I don't think that's the best way to do it, but that's how I'm gonna do it. If you guys have any tips on how fluid dynamics work in this game to make it more efficient, let me know. We got rid of two. As long as I don't uh, backtrack, I don't step in the goop, so that's fine. Yeah, I think I no, I'm not gonna risk it. <laughs> All 
right, let's, let's put some out of ammo. Good call. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and let's just put some stuff down here. And we can start storing up um, some. Some oil. Uh, before I do that, let's. Oh, I'm back. I'm back to full health. Let's go. <laughs> Gonna save. Look at all this dead, dead aliens. The the sounds that they make are <laughs> pretty pretty intense now. Shoot, that did a ton of damage. I must have jumped. Ran over some goop, and I continue to do so. Alright, we'll go back to our oil. No reason to be greedy. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah, up, uh, put these all into some oil storage containers. Let's put them all right here, I guess. Place them all the way down, to the left. I think this is fine. See, another thing is I don't know if it's better to have the pipes connected to each other or just have them separated. Um, because these go at 51 a second, and I think pipes can only hold 100. So, for example, if I outputted all these four into one piping system, uh, that would that would saturate the pipe very quickly. So it might be better to just have them all separated until until they reach the the storage tank. At least that is what I am thinking currently. But see, so yeah, I, I just I don't understand the fluid dynamics work because I feel like any way I do this, it's going to be um, the pipes are going to be the limiting factor here and not not these because they're so rich. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of damage. We're gonna see if I could take those out. Um, but. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to. And but I'm gonna try to put two together. Dang it, I hate this. I don't. I don't know because I was thinking of putting them in, put two into one storage container and take that, take another pipe to the main storage container area. But then what? What does that matter? That doesn't actually do anything because if it is limited by the pipes, then it'd be limited by the pipe going from here to the next set, anyways. And there can really only be so many ins and outs here. So it'd be pointless, I think. Because if I wanted to put two in here to put them here, then I'd have to put two out if I wanted to output them in the same same um, with the same output. So there's no reason to put them in there in the first place. I think I killed them. 
Alrighty. We do have another batch of aliens up here. And this is a fairly large base, just like the other ones, but I don't see it's meant I never mind. I do see a couple the right thing. I do see a couple worms. But we're gonna we're just gonna go for it. We're starting to run out of things to research. <laughs> but these are going so quickly now. Uh I don't know about this one. <laughs> well we'll risk it, we'll see. No, it's just better to use there's no reason to ever shoot, basically. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna go back to the oil, but by the time I'm there, I'll be full health. So, we'll just stick around here. Uh, we're gonna focus right, right around here and get these three at least, and then we'll focus on these three. As long as we kill the base, we'll have less biters being spawned. So it'll be easier every time I get I come and uh come through here. I should be uh shoot, I killed it. Okay. I should be shooting my grenades while I walk up. That'll help me a little bit. I'm gonna wait on my health. Um, I don't need explosives, but whatever. The explosives are for the cliffs, and I, I in general like the cliffs because they help me um, defend. The only reason I wouldn't like them is if I they were messing with routing for my buildings, but I haven't run into that problem yet. And I don't see it being a problem for a while. I need to make sure I don't run into the goop while I run away. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I... I wasn't expecting... it to kill... I thought it would die in two hits. Shoot. <laughs> Where are we? Alright, well... My bad. <laughs> I, I didn't expect it to get the last shot in there. It's, uh... Feels bad. Okay, just gotta make sure they're not on me. Have to watch out for the goop. Shoot. I did not watch out for the goop. <laughs> Alright. Are there any longer ranged guns? Because I'm trying to think if there's a reason I would ever use guns over grenades. I can't really think of any situations where single target would be that much better than strong AoE. Okay, we killed it. No, we're not gonna we're not gonna challenge it this time. <laughs> we're gonna be safe. Do this. Was a flamethrower like then? Well, I guess that's strong AoE, but 
mean, you it needs other ammo, right? As like f fuel rods or whatever. Not sure if that's worth the extra effort to get. Why are you guys still alive? Why are you so accurate? Did I kill that one? There's only one left. It's the same guy. Let me check flamethrower. We need ammo. I guess that's what you can use the extra oil stuff for. That's interesting. I never thought about that. Oh, you can make a turret. I've never done that. It has a minimum range of 3 and a range of 15. What is the range of a grenade? So it has the same range of a grenade. But I'm assuming it does more damage. But probably less AoE. I never bothered to make one, so I don't know if, how good it is, but... It must be good for it to warrant having the whole extra tree of things. Okay, so there's that other other base up there. I, th I think I'm good. I'll... I'll scout out a little bit here. Luckily we have this body of water that's in this area, so... There can only be so many directions that I get attacked from. And this is some weak sauce stuff. Oh, more oil. Fantastic. I keep hitting myself with my needs. I'm, I'm starting to revise my opinion on worms. They're still fairly accurate, and then the goop slows you down. So if there's more than one, you, you get comboed, basically, because you can't move, and then you run into the goop, and then you'll get hit by other goop, and it's just a, it's not a good time. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, so, you know what? I deserve that. Shoot. I was hoping there would be another autosave in the time it took me to kill this base. That was not the case, and I apologize for wasting all of our time. <laughs> I should have saved. On the bright side, apparently this took me less than four minutes. Is that right? That feels wrong. I feel like this had to have taken me more time than four minutes for another autosave. Either way, we're almost done with it again. Darn goop. Don't, don't, don't shoot. There's no reason to shoot. I have tons of grenades. It's much slower. If I'm in trouble, use the grenades. I think I research something different every time I, every time I do this. That's fine. It is interesting to see how fast these guys are spawning. Not sure how this works. Like, do the small spitters become Or how does how does it work? Do they like evolve? Excuse me. Do they evolve into the larger spitters and over time? 
Or are they always small spitters once they're spawned? Because these spawn fairly quickly, and if that was the case, then you'd think there'd be way more attacking at a time um, when they come to your base. We're going to save again. It's cheap, so we'll do it. Okay. Let's not die to this this time. I'll shoot this because it's presumably cheaper. Okay. I was thinking maybe shorter range would be better. That's not the case. <laughs> it just shortens the distance for them to shoot at you. <laughs> okay, so we're good. We survived. Uh, we're going to. Uh, walk to the coast here, just to see. Okay, that is another... Base is weak sauce. I don't even see any worms, so... Standing in the goop, that's why everything was red. Okay. <laughs> was... Alright. So we we found this another another huge patch of oil. So we're not gonna be hurting for oil ever. From I believe. We're de we definitely have enough till end game. 100 percent Um We just gotta get it going. So let's do that. I think I'm just going to take these three. I'm not going to even bother with this one. 7,000, 6,000, 9,000. Um, like technically, this is a lot more oil. So I might want to start build my oil refinery here instead of down here. But then that's just farther away from my main base. But if I put it down here, that means I have to transfer it further distances. And I think that will... Again, I don't know how the fluids work, but I think that's not optimal. But we have way... we have a ton of ports here, so that would... It might be a good idea to just build it here, in the middle of these three. And there's coal nearby too, so I don't have to worry about the... Uh, whatever needs it, sulfur? I'm thinking, so I... Yeah, I think I'm going to build it here. I'm going to build it in the middle of these three. I'm, I'm going to route these three up, or these two up here. Um, this is going to be my storage area for my oil. And then I'm just going to build down um, for... I'm just going to have this whole area built with oil refineries. I think that is good. So that means that we don't have enough pumps now because we made some for the lesser one earlier. But let's start here and then we'll add the rest later because this, this is already plenty of oil. OK. 
Okay, we're going to set up our defenses here. Oh, a little bit farther. Excuse me. do see that there's a base to our east. Uh, it doesn't look too large though, so I'm not not worried about it. Some turrets will take care of that rather easily, I believe. We'll have one here, one here. Let's, we'll just have a lot. And this will be our vanguard. Put ammo in them. I need to go pick up my other turrets. While I'm doing that. Oh, hey. When did this show up? this been here for a long time? I just never noticed. Either way, this is here now. I can use the upgrade planner. Uh, this, this wasn't here earlier. So this is... This will be useful, probably. Let's do it. Let's route some electricity down. I don't think I have enough made here. I'm also not making anything right now. But I'm not really sure what to make. I think I have enough solar panels for a while. I'm just going to head back to my base. Steel plates. And I'm gonna need more pump jacks. And what else can I make in the meantime? Is there anything I can make? It's usually a pain to make. I can't make any of these electronic advanced circuit stuff because that's. I need some oil. And I'm. I guess, I guess I'm just going to continue my solar panels, <laughs> so I'll never have to actually make them. I think we need solar panels for rocket parts, so eventually I'll, I'll need them anyways, so that's good. Alright, so let's make a lot of these. We need copper plates. And iron. Okay, that should be enough. Um, what else do we need? Make more of these. I think I'm still going to need more pipes. been storing those, right? I've not been storing them, right? 
No, I haven't been. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Do I not have any chests left? I don't. Is this the two? No. Wait, that just started. Or right, that just finished. Where is my extra 10? Is this... I didn't pay attention. Is this my extra 10? Oh. Like I used up that area though. I don't know what I got from the tool belt. Uh, let's see. More ammo. Let's check on our science. We should have a lot built up. We definitely do. This is an iron chest. Uh, let's see. Do I have an assembly machine on me? Where'd it go? Did not go as planned. <laughs> Did not have enough. Okay, I should start at the bottom. Green signs than red signs? That is interesting. Oh, I guess... I don't know. I don't know how that worked out. Okay, military signs. There we go. Good. We're good. Okay, we're, we're winding down on our science here. We're gonna definitely need our blue science soon. I have never actually inputted this anywhere. And the chest it goes. Yeah, let's set up our stuff here. We need electronic circuits. We need steel copper. Hundred, hundred making. Let's put these somewhere. We'll put them by my current setup. I 
don't think I need to place them down yet, but I'll just put them in this chest. And we're doing on electricity anyways. That is a tree. Doing okay. It is daytime, so we're making six um, mega watts uh, of stuff, so that's... We're using 17, so we pretty much need all of this. We're not running at full capacity at night. But again, we need batteries to make use of our solar panels, and batteries need oil, which we still haven't done. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I am very slow at this game. It's, fu it's fine. We're, we're having fun, right? And we have a, we have a great base um, in terms of setup for later. I should be routing my power. I'll take it from here. That sucks. I don't know if that is straight anymore. <laughs> Too far. fine. Cool, we have power now. Did not make the extra pump jacks. That's fine. Uh, we're pretty, pretty much just gonna deal with this upper base for right now, for the near future. 